In this lesson, we're going to have a look at how to calculate the perimeter of composite circular shapes. In other words, shapes that are made up of circles or parts of a circle. Now, these look complicated to start with, but I'm going to show you how you can break them up to make it easier to work through to the answer. Here are a couple of steps that we've suggested. First of all, find and label the length of all the sides that you possibly can. Secondly, and very importantly, break the shape up into workable parts. Now it says here for circular shapes, substitute known values into the formula for the circumference because remember we're working with perimeter and the perimeter of a circle is a circumference. And the point that I need to stress here is that we're often working parts of a circumference. For example, this distance around here is a semicircle or half of the circumference. And this one here is as well, that's half of a smaller circle. So we're going to have a look at these as we work through this example. Now, the other point that they mention here is that whenever anything is marked with a dash, it means that the length is the same. So all of these points along here are the same. Now that means that if this is five millimeters long, so is this, and so is that, and so is that. So all of those parts with the dashed line, including that and including that, they're all five millimeters in length. And we'll need to know that to work out our values. So let's have a look at an example and see how it works. Now here's the question, find the perimeter of the shape below. All right, now it looks fairly complicated. So over on the right hand side here, I've broken it down into parts that seem to be more manageable. Here's the question. And what we've actually got is a semicircle. Here it is here, a semicircle, that's A. We've got a smaller semicircle here, that's B. And what we've done is we want that distance here and this distance here. So we've moved this one across to make up a circle. So if we can work out the circumference of this circle here and then add A and B and all of that together, then we have the perimeter of this relatively unusual shape. So here are the steps. First of all, we're going to work out A. So the circumference is given by the formula 2 pi R. Now we know that R is equal to 10. And this is all in millimeters. So 10 millimeters, why? Because there it is there. Five is there. That means this is five and that's five. So the radius of the big circle is going to be 10. All right, so we've got this formula. We'll substitute it in and we get two times. Now we're going to use 3.14 here when we type this in not our calculator pi, just this one here, and we'll multiply that by 10, and our answer comes out to be 62.8, and that's uh, millimeters. So what we've got to do then is to take this value, we'll call this A is this length here, we've got to take 62.8, and because it's a semicircle, divided by 2. So the length that we want is 31.4 millimeters. All right, so we've done A and that's finished. So similarly, we're going to do B, same sort of procedure. So C is equal to 2 pi R. So I'll just put a little line here. So that's the first one. That's all for A. So C is equal to 2 pi R. And this time, the radius is going to be 5 for the smaller semicircle, five millimeters. So we substitute in and we get C equal to two times pi times the radius of five, which gives us 31.4 millimeters. But keep in mind that we want half of this because it's a semicircle. So B is equal to 31.4 divided by 2, which gives us 15.7 millimeters. So there's the solution for the length of B. So now we've got A and we've got B. 
All we've got to do now is to work out the circumference of this circle and that will give us this strange line here. So we write down the circumference is equal to, now I'm going to use pi times diameter. Now that's exactly the same as 2 pi r. Our pi value is going to be 3.14 and remember the diameter of the circle is this dotted line here so it's going to be 5. So that gives us a total value of 15.7 if you work that out which is what we want. We don't have to halve it because we want the full circle and that gives us then the total perimeter. So the total perimeter is going to be 31.4 which is this one here plus 15.7 which is the smaller one, plus 15.7 again because we're having a full circle. So a total perimeter then of 62.8 millimetres.